Hello, and welcome to the State Road A1A Sidewalk Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Anthony Miller, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain how the department plans to improve pedestrian safety through this project. We encourage your feedback, and there are multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447-151-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar, or send an email to chuck at valerin-group.com to report it. You may also call GoToWebinar support at 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386 943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is located in Brevard County along State Road A1A within the town of Indianlanic. The project begins where the existing sidewalk ends at Gross Point Avenue and continues to just north of Flug Avenue. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 447-151-1. This project is located within a high tourism area with beaches, condominiums, and resort properties on the beach side or east side of the road. The west side of the road is heavily populated with businesses and residential properties. 
For these reasons, there are many pedestrians who use this corridor to travel to and from their residences, as well as to businesses, restaurants, and recreation areas along the corridor. The proposed improvements will create a safe, continuous pedestrian route by constructing a six-foot-wide sidewalk on the east side of the road and connecting existing pedestrian mid-block crossings. This project will also construct curbs and curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, standards, reconstruct driveways as needed, and include modifications to roadside drainage. Currently, sidewalk along the east side of State Road A1A is not continuous between Gross Point Avenue and Flug Avenue, and there are several areas along the corridor where sidewalk is not provided. This project proposes constructing sidewalk on the east side of the roadway, thereby creating a safer experience for pedestrians along the corridor. This sidewalk will also serve to connect the new mid-block crossings constructed near Nymira Avenue and Flug Beach. Walking through the planned changes along the corridor, construction of a six-foot-wide sidewalk is proposed to begin at the northeast corner of State Road A1A and Gross Point Avenue and continue northward along the east side of the roadway. A small section of sidewalk is also proposed on the northwest corner of the intersection. Curb ramps will be constructed to meet current ADA standards at the entrances to Vizcaya, Sea Watch Towers condominiums, and Commodore Club condominiums. In order to construct new sidewalks and associated improvements, right-of-way acquisition will be needed from Ocean Residence South, Sea Watch Towers condominiums, and Commodore Club condominiums. Continuing north, new sidewalk is proposed along the east side of the roadway to the existing mid-block crossing just north of Flug Avenue. This is the northern end of the project limits. Multiple curb ramps will be constructed along this section to meet ADA standards. As previously mentioned, in order to accommodate the new sidewalk construction, this project will require the right-of-way acquisition of narrow strips of property or temporary construction easements. There are no relocations associated with this project. All right-of-way acquisition will be conducted in accordance with the Federal Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970, commonly known as the Uniform Act. Affected property owners will be contacted directly by FDOT to begin discussions. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in June 2024 at an estimated cost of $894,000. The improvements on this project will require FDOT to acquire right-of-way and is currently unfunded. The property acquisition has an estimated cost of $3.7 million. Construction for this project is currently unfunded and has an estimated cost of $550,000. Moving forward, we encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by April 15, 2023, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447-151-1.
You may also contact the project manager directly by email at anthony.miller at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386 943 5530 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 447-151-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by April 15, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447-151-1. Have a good evening.